I am Amy Bacon with Spirit Pathways, and I'm here with this week's reading. This is for today, Monday, June 3rd, through this coming Sunday, June 9th, 2019. So the biggest energy we have this week is today's new moon in Gemini, Monday, June 3rd. This is going to bring us the fresh energy of the Gemini new moon which is going to refresh your life, raise your vibration. New moons are new beginnings. Gemini is fresh, fun, lighten it up energy. <laughs> so it's the perfect time to bring new ideas or to begin the things that you've been wishing to accomplish. And there's so much to help you succeed, so much to support your journey. It's time to relax and allow that goodness to carry you along. We tend to spend so much time focusing upon what can go wrong or resisting change because we don't trust what is on the other side of that change. Instead, wouldn't it be refreshing to take a deep breath knowing all is well and all will turn out so much better than we can imagine in our human brains? Spirit and divine goodness supports you and has such amazingly better ideas for you and your happiness. So don't be limited by your human brain. Allow the expansion of divine goodness to surprise and thrill you. Your divine source is connected to your soul and knows your soul path in all directions of time. We come into our human life and somehow are trained to resist and to hold back on all this amazing goodness. It's time to release, to allow, to embrace, to generate, to agree to your happiness, to allow your goodness, and to embrace your own personal expansion. Use this week to practice with these concepts. Use the energy of this week to kickstart your new path of embracing all that makes you happy. The new moon brings this energy perfectly into alignment for you. Laugh, play, love, enjoy your life and all it has for you. And I am here to help you clear the energy and align to your happiest life. With a reading, you can bring your dreams and desires into your life. I connect you with your Council of Spirit Guides to address all you need to understand and clear away so you can move forward, living to your highest potential. We will answer your questions, give you insight and alignment for your soul's desires and your lifetime blueprint. All the information is on my website, spiritpathways.net. This week we just have a lovely balance. Whoop! There goes the card. <laughs> Pick those up. That was a little chunk, so I'm going to put them back in. We've got clear quartz, um, amethyst, and citrine. Nice balance of energies with these crystals for this new moon in Gemini. Your new energy. Your new beginning. Use the new moon's beginning energy for what you want to create. All right, going through these, if you can see them. Laying them out. Then I'm going to go over each one to give you a reading for the energy of this week and how you can use it to your best advantage. Okay, let's see what we've got. Woo! <laughs> I love it. A lot of people are afraid of that card, but I'm going to explain it so it makes sense to you. Nice flow here. You know, I think we've been getting cards in the same spot. This week it's Justice. I believe it was there for us last time. I get these even so you can see them all. All right, <clears throat> we're starting with death, which 
in actual fact, is not an ending. It's a beginning. It's just like the new moon. <laughs> I love this energy and how the guides connect it. Death is rebirth. It's awakening. These people are asleep. And this spiritual leader here is waking them up. This priestly figure. The background is calm. The sun is coming up. This white Tudor rose. It's passion and it's purity. This is a very relaxing card. This is like winter before spring. And this card foretells the spring, <laughs> which is the new birth, which is the new beginning. So this is, card is asking you, as it starts off our reading, what needs to end in your life and what needs to begin. The perfect, I love how the guides give us cards that are perfect for what they've just talked about. Rebirth, new beginnings. What do you want to flow into your life at this time? What are the things that you want to create, that you want to generate? Those happy goodness that you're going to allow and agree to and embrace to get you on the path for where you're happier. And so this top row, this next card, again, alignment. What do you need to walk away from? What has not honored you? What has been like, hmm, not giving you the best of all experiences? Those are the things you need to walk away from. You need to just allow that to fall away and start your own path, your own beginning this is totally the card of honoring yourself. Don't let other people hurt you. Don't let other people do things that are unkind to you. Don't participate in situations or circumstances that are not for your highest good and your highest outcomes. Let's just walk away from that to get you for this rebirth. You can't take these things with you for your new beginning. And then the Seven of Wands says you're on the higher ground. So recognize that. You're not going to be given anything that's sort of too difficult for you. Because as long as you keep that vibration high, you rise above all of this. And these wands down here can represent so many different things, depending upon where you are and what you're dealing with in your life. But as long as you keep breathing and you keep realizing that you're surrounded by divine goodness, you're not alone, your council of spirit guides are always with you, then you can maintain this higher ground. This is also, you maintain the higher ground by making the decisions to not participate in the things that don't honor you. Then, <laughs> they open up the world, the highest card in the deck. The world can be yours. This is, you're fully realized and you've got your education. You've got all the things that you need. And you're here in this victory wreath and these wands or you're connected above and below. And it's all goodness. So sort of just relaxing into that. You're not going to get it wrong. It's all going to flow for you. And this is right beneath this rebirth card. So your rebirth gives you the world. Now in the center of all these cards, here is the chariot. To me, the center card often is something that's very meaningful. So the chariot reminds you that once you deal with your inner struggles, once you deal with those thought patterns that are holding you back or those ideas that you feel you're just not getting ahead with, or maybe you need to build your confidence or your self-esteem, this can stand for many things, <clears throat> but the chariot is about those concepts that are not allowing you to move forward. And once you deal with those inner struggles, then the chariot takes off. Things take off. So whatever understanding or help you need to process those inner struggles so you don't keep being stuck in them, maybe a reading, I can help you with that, I promise, directly, personally for you. Let's get that stuff taken care of so your chariot can fly, can take off. 
you've got the high priestess now. So she's your intuition. She's reminding you that your intuition is trustworthy, it's reliable, and it's if it's positive and loving, it's in your, your intuition and your guides. If it's negative and feary, you know, fearful and and just not kind, that's your ego. <laughs> that's not your intuition. Your intuition is always loving and positive and enriching for you. So paying attention to that guidance will allow you to move forward in the ways that you want to. And I love how the high priestess and the world are on either side of the chariot to remind you that everything's going to be okay. You're going to deal with the inner struggles, which have to do with the card above it, the things that aren't honoring you, and then things take off. And then you get justice, which is the balance, which is absolutely the highest outcome for all. It's that big gray area of everyone benefits. It's not yes or no or black or white. This is knowledge, the sword, wisdom, the scales, the, the columns and all are gray. They're not black and white. In the high priestess, they're black and white because of inner knowledge and outer knowledge, seeing past the veil to allow you the balance of your inner knowing. Justice is going out in the world, so the people that you are in, entangling with, these, uh, this five of swords, those people that you need to let go, <laughs> justice is reminding you, if you change that situation, everything's going to be absolutely fine for you and for them. So it's time to move on. Allow this balance in your life. Then you get some of the solutions that you want. This king of uh, queen of pentacles, she's solutions. She's money solutions and health solutions and improving your life improving the conditions of your life solutions. So that's a nice reminder. And a lot of people want to know that the money is going to be okay. So she's telling you that the money's going to be okay. There's money here for you. You're going to have solutions with money. So don't worry about it. Don't give your power away to that. And so the emperor, we bring all this together, all these concepts, all these ideas, and I love it that the emperor is the last card because he's the one that says, act on your convictions. <laughs> act on this brand new beginning. Act on letting go of the things that may be holding you back so you can recognize the world, enjoy your intuition and all the goodness that you want to have. He's the take action on it. He's the, you've had the thoughts, you've had the ideas, now go out and do it. Which is nice. We need that shove. We need that reminder. This is the new beginning. The energy of this week, this fantastic Gemini new moon energy, is go out and start. Start somewhere. He's absolutely, I'm going to give you the strength, all these ram's heads and all the stability here of his throne. I'm going to give you the strength to just get started. And as you get started, you're clearing the energy that doesn't serve you anymore, and you're getting the outcomes that you want. Very powerful card to end with from this fantastic rebirth, new energy, new beginnings, new moon energy for you for this week. And I am here. Come have a reading for me. We will address everything that's personally going on in your life. And all the information for your reading is on my website, spiritpathways.net. Have a wonderful week, and I will see you next week. Bye-bye.